It's been a long time Now I'm back with some stuff Game hunting and toy collecting, plain and simply, ain't as fun as it used to be. But that doesn't mean I'm not still buying stuff behind the scenes. Today I want to show you things that I've been buying, purchasing, where the hunt might have not been that fun. But at least I got stuff. And some gifts. Some Coolio stuff. Let's check it out. Let's start it off with some stuff I got at Book Off, and yes, I got a little Xbox 360 bundle. I got these for really cheap, by the way. To start it off, Mortal Kombat on the Xbox 360. Never even played this version of Mortal Kombat. I've never been the biggest Mortal Kombat guy. I liked like the super old school ones, and then I liked some of the newer ones, you know, Mortal Kombat 10, but I didn't really play Mortal Kombat during this time in the world, this genre. Genre, not this genre, this era, this generation. That's what I meant to say, this generation in video games. Second, King of Fighters 12, yes, XII, that's 12, correct? Game, I have not played. Again, once again, have not played this yet. Ricky loves the King of Fighters game, so to be honest, this is more likely to go to him. I love me some fighter games, but ever since I got myself a nice big arcade unit, I haven't really been playing fighter games on anything else but my arcade, if I'm a hundred percentile honest with you. Next, Stoked for the Xbox 360. Have played Played this it's not as fun as some of the other more popular you know snowboarding games of that time like SS Tricky and stuff like that I would say it's not even as fun as games like 1080 snowboarding snowboarding kids but it's still fun nonetheless if you want to try it out and you can get it for cheap it's worth it it's not worth much so get it for cheap otherwise move along and last but not least of these Virtua Fighter 5 online now this is interesting I just realized that I haven't really been playing any fighter games on console and only on arcade, and three out of the four pickups I got were fighter games. I don't know what I was thinking, but Virtua Fighter games, always a fighting game that I loved. I remember being blown away by the original Virtua Fighter game when it came on the scene. I was like, what? I like those graphics. Some people were against the style of graphics. I liked them back then. That was like, whoa. The more polygons, the better. If you ain't seen a lot of cool looking people on the polygon form, you ain't seen nothing. There's nothing better than a polygon person. I'll tell you that much. The next thing I got was a gift from the wonderful, first time gift from this company from Super Rare Games, sent me Tricky Towers Collector's Edition on the Nintendo Switch. I don't have this, obviously, the physical version. I have not played the game yet, but, 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 I remember looking at this game quite a bit, looking at a lot of gameplays of it. I even remember looking at the trailers when the game was coming out, and basically, it's like a different fun vibe style of a Tetris game with a lot of multiplayer options. I like the tower aspect of it because it's a lot of like the balancing acts that go on. I used to play a mobile game like that back in the day, but I don't remember what it was called, where you kind of would do the Tetris vibe with stacking different shapes while doing the balancing act. I'm excited to play this, have not played it yet. This was literally the first time I popped this open. I'm sure I'm showing you guys b-roll of the game right now, but as of right now, what's in my actual hand have not even opened this puppy up. So Super Rare Games, thanks! That was nice of you! That was awesome! You're awesome! As awesome as me? <laughs> Quarantine has made me go crazy. Recently got this as well, and I have had one of these before, and I wanted another one to have it hooked up in a different room, and that's the Hyperkin Retron HD. I don't know why I had to keep looking at that. I've owned two of these and I had to look at it as if I didn't know the name. Hyperkin has actually given me one of these before and I really liked it to be honest. It's basically just an NES player, but to HDMI, makes things easy, makes it simple, really easy if you have a lot of HDTVs, no, you know, CRTs lying around and you wanna just pop in and plug. Easy breezy, I bought another one of these. I just wanted to share it with you guys. And no, the box is empty. The box is empty because it's hooked up in my son's room and I didn't feel like taking it apart. He would have been like, Dad, what are you doing? Don't take out my Nintendo. It's not how my son talks at all, but still really stoked to have this. Hyperkin, nice job on this. I bought it, almost lost my balance. Bought this one, see? This one was kind of crazy to me because I bought this at a retail store for really cheap. I went to Target, there was one left, I bought it, I went to another Target and there was a whole bunch of them and I was like, how have more people not bought these? And that's the Blu-ray Collector's Edition VHS Look Stranger Things 
first season set. Blu-ray and DVD collector's edition includes the four, four Blu-ray discs and the DVD set and the collectible poster sealed. Probably, I'd say yes, the best season of Stranger Things. Some would say season three. I don't think anyone in the world says it's season two, because what the heck were they doing with season two? Nobody knows. Nobody cares about your sister. Move on. But yeah, I'm stoked. Season one sealed five bucks. And if you're lucky, there are still a bunch of these at a lot of targets. So if you're out there, pick it up. Five bucks, super worth it. If you love some Stranger Things in your life. Yep. If you've seen our YouTube stories, you know that I've been obsessed with Family Matters lately. I've been re-watching every single season all the way through. I love the show. I love everything about it. And Amazon, out of all people, I didn't have to go to like a specialty store for this. I got this shirt for 12 bucks. I think it was 12 bucks. A nice, bright green, super 80s looking, super 90s looking. Did I do that? Right here. Delivered to my door and great material. All my friends, when I ordered this, they were like, that's really cool. Then when I got it in, like, and I got it in my physical hands, the material is the perfect material that I like. So I got this. I'm stoked. I am happy. 12 some dollars, something like that for a nice Urkel shirt. There's no one I want to say no to more than you. We need more people like Urkel in our life. As goofy and dumb as he was sometimes, even though he was very intelligent, he always wanted to do the right thing. You go, Urkel. You go. Whoa, we have a lift off. <laughs> I almost forgot about these and pulled them out because this company sent me these and I was like, eh, I don't really want to do any like sponsorships. I don't do like any give me money stuff because then my opinion is swayed. Blah, 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 blah. Long story short, they're like, hey, we'll just send you some shirts. You don't got to do anything. You can talk about them if you want. Man, these are cool shirts. Company calls is called Vapor95. I think Vapor95.com, something like that. Again, I'm not getting anything from this, but these shirts. But these are fire. These are Fuego shirts. I literally love these shirts. Check these out. All right. <laughs> you ain't ready for this. Look how beautiful this Skycorp home video VHS t-shirt is. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. I get my shirts in size large, by the way. I like them nice and long. I'd say as far as my, my body goes, I'm like a medium. I like my shirts long. I'm six foot tall. This is a beautiful shirt. My goodness, thank you for the shirt. That was literally rad of you. I love this shirt. It says Mac. Has a, a nice old Mac looking vibe. And look at this. Is this David? That's what it's called? David? The head of David? Is that what it is? I don't know. But this is super cool. Super synth. Super retro. My goodness. Amazing shirt, guys. Another Sky Corp home video. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. This is exactly what I'll... You guys know you if you watch the show. Retro. Super synth. Super neon. Super that vibes. The last one they sent me might be my favorite one. Even though it's a box and it's like, you know, the box shape. It's not necessarily like some crazy design but look at this look at this it has so many like different icons in this shirt from Ghostbusters to back to the future to Pepsi to McDonald's to uh, gizmos on there the California raisins Michael Jackson gosh the Nintendo controller down there a VHS set and so much if I have to tell you who this is you didn't live through the best time in the world for real vapor 95 thank you Super dope shirts. So I bought a thing called Turtles Mutants in Manhattan. I was excited when this game was announced and it was coming out. I was like, this is dope. I'm gonna buy this. I love me the turtles. I love me the gameplay, the way it looks. I love the art style of the game. And then I completely forgot about it. And I just picked it up. And I still haven't played it yet. So if you've played Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutants in Manhattan, rated G for teen, please let me know if I should play it because it's hard right now to get me off the games that I am playing, man. I have been playing. So much Worms and so much Rocket League. I need to figure out something else with my life because I need to try some new games. Probably this. Tell me. No, seriously, tell me. The heck, man. I got these on offer up in kind of a trade deal with some other stuff. Basically, I got these for $2 each. They're the, the Wiimotes, but like the classic controller Wiimotes. These will save your life. If you have your Nintendo Wii modded. These are awesome. You just pop them into your Wiimote. There's a hair on it. You just pop these in to your Wiimote, play some games. You can play a lot of different games with these. Almost everything is compatible with these. I love them. They're worth it. 
they're probably like 15 to 20 bucks online. You might be able to find them at a swap meter flea market if you can get to a swap meter flea market right now or a store if a store is open. But if you can get them for on the cheap, like I did for two bucks each, bada bing, bada boom, bada bing, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. Get them. Speaking of we, these were five dollars each, and I forgot to show them to you guys. I got them not too long ago, maybe like a month ago. Oh, my oh baby, are these? These are Wii Motion Plus, so to get these for $5 each, that's a deal. I know everybody's been talking about it, but Wii stuff lately is selling for mucho dinero. It is time to, well, to be honest, probably time to sell your Wii stuff. But if you wanna collect Wii stuff, it might be a little harder to get stuff because people are, people are charging a lot for that Wii stuff right now. So if you can get it for cheap, get it. If you can even get these for like 10 bucks each, I'd say still get it. Especially with Wii Motion Plus. This one's red, this one's black. Put them together and you get, what color, purple? That's my guess, purple. If you mix the two, you get purple. 25 bucks each, they're yours. The last two things I'm gonna show were gifts. Not from a company or anything like that, but they're from people who watch the show. I completely forgot about the name of the person that gave me this. I am so sorry, but we did talk about it on social media, so I hope you heard us thanking you. Your name there. I know, Mikey, I sent him a video. A beautiful green Mario Rabbids Luigi. Look at this. Ricky gave me this red one not too long ago. Ricky gave me this red one not too long ago, and this amazing hero was like, hey, I'm gonna send you this one. He sent me this in the box. And as you guys know, with toys, I don't necessarily keep them in the box. I like to, to display them in a way that I think looks the prettiest. So thank you so much. I now have a beautiful Luigi, a beautiful, I almost said a beautiful Ricky, a beautiful Mario, and I have them both kind of just like perfectly sitting on the corner of my arcade one-ups. Funny enough, the Pac-Man one has like a red trim look and the Rampage one has a green look to it. Huh? Huh? Look at this. Oh, baby. Yeah, that's a look. Oh! You tell me you can find something that looks cooler than that. You won't. You probably will. But anyway. And lastly, these were sent to me by the amazing, the wonderful, the stupidly good at video games, Megadan29. Check out his channel, by the way. I'm not a Funko guy, but I am if you give me Lance Bean and Bill Riser. I actually just did a video about characters we need in Smash Bros. Guess who was my number one choice? Lance Bean and Bill Riser, otherwise known as Pat the NES Punk and NES Complex? I don't know. I, I didn't have that one ready for you. Lance Bean and Bill Riser. But this is awesome. I love the way they look. They, they're bad to the bone. Okay, Bill has got his cigar in his mouth and a gun in his hand. You tell me if someone more dangerous. In reality, I love these. I love Contra. When he sent them to me, he's like, I know you're not a Funko guy, but I know you're gonna love these. And I'm like, I don't think he knows that I really don't like them that much. And I got them and I'm like, I'm gonna start collecting every Funko in existence. I didn't say that, but I'm very excited to have these. Thank you very much, Mega Dan. I love you. It was so nice to hang out with you last year at SEGE, which won't be happening this year due to COVID. I hate COVID. I literally hate it. I was about to end the video, but I also got something else. Is it gaming related? No, I got a kayak. I've been going out kayaking a lot. I really feel like during this time, we need to get out. You need to move your body. You need to be, I don't even know what that is. That was maybe me kayaking. So it's been nice to go out there. I've been going a lot, out a lot with Ricky and Andy and getting some of that vitamin D. But with that, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you for letting me show you guys all my stuff, all the toys, the, the gadgets, the controllers, the t-shirts, a lot of clothing lately. I've been buying a lot of clothes. Look at this outfit. I've been into clothes. A lot of different things. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure completely unsubscribe. Deny my channel access to your eyes ever again. Love on someone today. Seriously, please stop with the boom, 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 boom. Just love on each other. It'd be a good idea. I promise. Have a good one. <laughs> oh, my bar stools. I bought these in an expansion pack and they work great. I feel like Mickey Minaj. Me, 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 me.